Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you tips for a five-year-old. Tip number one, take your five-year-old to see a doctor for a well child checkup. In this well child checkup, you can expect your child to be tested for vision, and you can expect an audiometry test for hearing. Your, the child's blood pressure, height, weight, and body mass index should also be checked. And an assessment of development is also part of the five-year-old exam. This includes being able to balance on one foot, hop and skip, being able to tie a knot, being able to copy squares and triangles, being able to count to 10 and naming at least four colors, and being able to dress and undress him or herself with minimal assistance. Tip number two. At your well child exam, you can expect immunizations. At age five, your child should have already completed immunizations against hepatitis A and B, as well as the pneumococcal vaccine. Ask your doctor about your child getting catch-up immunizations if he or she has missed some of these doses. Also, at the age four to five, also between age four and six, it's time to get the final dose of the DTAP, diphtheria, tetanus, acellular pertussis, the polio vaccine, MMR, varicella, as well as the yearly influenza vaccine. Tip number three, dental health. It's important for your child to see a dentist twice a year for cleanings, as well as for your child to brush his or her teeth with a flora containing paste at least twice a day and floss once a day. Tip number four, physical activity. Physical activity is really important. You can encourage physical activity by going with your family and participating in fun physical activities for at least 60 minutes a day. Also, it's important to limit television watching. Television should not be kept in the child's room and television should be limited to a maximum of two hours per day. Tip number five, eat right. Your child's diet is extremely important and eating a well-balanced diet is essential. This means eating lots of fruit, vegetables, and whole grains. Aim for at least five servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Breakfast is an extremely important meal. Research shows that eating breakfast helps children do better in school and behave better in the school environment. Make sure children get enough calcium as well. This helps build strong bones and teeth. Children age four to eight should get two cups of low fat milk each day or the equivalent amount of calcium in low fat yogurt, cheese, or cheese. Tip number six car safety. The back seat is the safest place for children to ride until they're age 13. A car seat or booster seat should be used until the seat belt fits well without it, usually by around age 8 to 12. Tip number seven, street safety. Teach, teach your child how to cross the street safely. Children are not ready to cross the street by themselves until age 10 or older. Tip number eight, fire safety. Install smoke detectors in each room and make sure that the battery is maintained. Also, install smoke and ins install carbon monoxide detectors in hallways next to bedrooms. And make sure you have a fire escape plan, a fire escape plan for your house. Tip number nine, teach your child safety with other adults. Teach your child how to be safe with other adults. No one should ask, teach your child that no one should ask for a secret to be kept from his parents. No one should ask your child to see his or her private parts. And no adult should ask for help with his or her private parts. And tip number 10, believe in yourself. Being a parent is an extremely rewarding stage is an extremely rewarding um, activity and being turning age five um, is a great 
time to be the parent of a child because of all the unique challenges that are seen when you enter school. So enjoy um, age five with your child and have a great week. Thank you.